A first alert weather day today. First alert radar tracking strong storms set to roll into the metro tonight. Here we are with first alert meteorologist Patrick Pete with the timing, the impact, uh, really a severe risk possible here. Yeah, Joy, and we've been first alerting this for about five or six days now. We've been watching this and we thought the potential for strong storms existed. We needed to get more data to actually determine exactly what those threats were. And if you joined us this weekend, that's whenever we started elevating our conversation about the potential for our severe weather. And that continues to be the case this evening. You can see that the bullseye is to the north of us that level four out of five for severe weather. But that level three extends to about half of our viewership, including a large chunk of Metro Atlanta. So the first low weather day in full swing as we head through the overnight hours. Level two for everyone else that's not in the orange. Regardless of the color here, the threats are going to be the same. Uh, the flooding is going to be a lower impact. It's going to be more isolated, but we have the ingredients to get some hail. And although we don't get large hail often here in North Georgia, it's going to be something that we're going to be watching for because it's very humid out there. A lot of folks, you can step outside. You can feel whenever the atmosphere feels soupy and we could get uh, some strong storms. And that's what we're expecting through the overnight. Our primary concern here will be damaging wind gusts, but also can't rule out. We expect some of these thunderstorms to be rotating and we could get a strong tornado or two could be long track as we head through the overnight hours. Going to say it one more time. We're going to be giving you continuous coverage on the first alert weather app or on ANF plus through the overnight when we're not live streaming on either one of our channels. We are going to be updating you uh, live and in person every hour on the hour through the overnight cloudy skies right now, but you can already see some of those showers and storms starting to move in the portions of northwest Georgia tornado watch extended for a large portion of Tennessee, Kentucky into Missouri and portions of Mississippi. We do expect this line of storms to start to knock on our door as early as seven, eight o'clock in extreme northwest Georgia just out, outside of our viewing area. But as we get closer to around 10, that's whenever that first uh, part of the, the line will start to dip into portions of Chattooga. Floyd County, but you can see that there's some aggressive storms moving out of central Alabama as well. By around midnight, we're going to start to see those storms firing up. We're going to be watching very closely for some of these discrete cells because that's where we have the potential to get rotation for sure. And some of those thunderstorms that fire out up out ahead of that main line. So we expect that to be the case at around midnight through the early morning hours. The lead edge of this storm system will start to push on out at around three o'clock and we'll gradually see things clear out. We do expect the morning drive to be dry, but we could have down trees everywhere. You're going to want to tune in in the morning before you head out of the door. We're going to have a look at the uh, area and where we see some of the damage. On the back end, we're going to keep our first alert weather day going into Wednesday, mainly dry, some spotty showers possible late in the day, but it's going to be a lot cooler than the numbers today. 80 degrees today. We're talking about a lot of locations struggling to hit 60 tomorrow. So our first alert weather day for cooler temperatures tomorrow, but also for breezy winds. Uh, that system will be pulling away, but the pressure gradient will be tight and we fully expect 30 to 35 miles per hour wind gusts to be a part of our story as we push into the day tomorrow. Heading into Thursday, a cooler start to the morning. Going to be expecting some 30s on the map, low 40s, closer to the metro, getting into the 50s in the afternoon and eventually seeing those numbers get to about 60 sometime midday. Seven day forecast shows that we do trend a lot drier as we head into the weekend. Temperatures get into the low 60s by Saturday, back to 70 on Sunday, and then we're going to be watching for some low end rain opportunities early next week. Thank you, Pat.